this is something different. Um, I'm CB, and this is kind of a little news thing. Addie will not be joining in because she's holding the camera, and she didn't want to do it. She didn't really want to do it. But if you guys like this, um, she'll do it. All right, here's the first new thing. August 18th. That's pretty new, Ooh. right? All right, so origami insider petite plea clothing grows with kids. So it's basically clothing that from the first two years, like you can expand it or shrink it. It's cool. Um, yeah, sounds cool. Um, they grow six to seven times in the first two years. That's cool. Oh, and in a couple days the eclipse is coming, so I want to hear how your eclipse has been. I'll talk about it in the video on the day. So, um, next story. So. <laughs> The expression six to seven side. I grew the first thousand like a um, couple years. I mean, in like a year, so a lot. While exciting, the concert reward your punishment is expensive and results in wasted clothing. However, Ryan Yashin Yasin? Yasin? I don't know, if you know how to pronounce it, tell me, um, has created an origami line of clothing that expands or contracts automatically, resorting in a perfect fit each time. That's nice. Alright, that was a pretty good story. Um, mm-hmm. alright, this is older, it's from the 15th, the Doomsday Vault. It's about the Doomsday Vault, I don't, I forgot where the Doomsday Vault is, but it's pretty cool, it's like ice cold in there, so that it can keep all the flowers and stuff safe. Right. Governments, corporations, and even individuals concerned about losing valuable data or photos in the event of a cataclysm and a disaster can now rest easy thanks to the recently opened Arctic World Archive, located 300 meters, 984 feet, below the ground inside an abandoned coal mine in Svalbard. Svalbard. A Norwegian archipelago between the mainland Norway and the North Pole. It's very cool. The Doomsday Vault is equipped to keep information safe in the event or a natural, of a natural or man-made catac- Trophy. Sorry. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty good story um, by Shakira Ahmed, and the first one was Saren Benton Fetlinger. So if you guys are watching that, <gasps> there we go. good. Stop talking. Sorry! Here we go. By Ashley Johnson on August 12th, this is even older. Talking about how Japanese town it seeks help from dogs to sniff out stomach cancer? Um, I don't understand that, but I'll read it. Well, Japan is known to have higher than average rates of stomach cancer. Japanese dogs. The residents of the town in Kaniyama Kamagata Prefecture appear to be particularly susceptible. Susceptible to the gastric ailment. After a recent report revealed that the main toxicity is one of the highest stomach cancer facility rates of the nation's 344 second medical districts, the town officials decided to get its 6,000 residents tested by dogs sniffing out their stomachs. It's kind of gross. Um, this has been the news. Um, if you like this, it'll be a little bit longer next time, and we'll have a little more exciting stories. Give us a couple links. For stories that we have new content every day and good